So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Janet Collection 28 Pieces Hair and it's in a really pretty um, purple colour. I have two packets. I'm not sure if I'll use the entire two packs, but I've got two packets. So as you can see, I'm just going to be using some regular um, hair glue and I already prepared my wig cap on the mannequin head. So to begin with, I started with the shortest hair in the pack and I'm just going to cut them to the desired length and I'm just going to glue them going across the back section of the mannequin head. I had already prepared um, the hair and put glue on them so this is why I'm just picking them up and just attaching them straight onto the wig cap without gluing it. So as you can see guys, this process is pretty repetitive. Just going across um, the wig cap from side to side, starting from the bottom and we're just going to continue to do this in the same um, pattern all the way um, to the top. Just for the purpose of the video, I will cut some of this out because if I don't, this video will be extremely long and we don't want that so i'm just going to continue to do this and take it a little bit further up to the top so as you can see we're just continuing to do the exact same thing only this time we're using longer strips of hair because the middle section of the head is wider than when we started at the bottom I think the video is pretty much self-explanatory to be honest as you can just see what I'm doing is just um, the same thing. So once we've come to the top of our wig um, I've just started to apply small strips of hair across the front area of the wig and I'll just continue to do this um until i have like a really small section in the middle so i'm just going to go around in circle and apply the hair until we come to the middle where we want to close the hair So now I've come to the middle and this is a closure that actually came inside the pack of the hair with the hair and I'm just applying some glue onto it. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to apply it to that little circle and close it. As you can see there, I'm applying the closure and that's just how you close it. Pretty simple. So the wig's finished and I'm just going to basically leave it on the mannequin head to sit for a while and I'm just going to style it how I would like it. So I've just um, go ahead and brush the wig out. It's pretty cute. I think I like this purple because I've never really worn purple. I don't even know if I'll be wearing it but <laughs> it's something different and I like it. I actually really just like the colour. So I'm just using my razor comb just to um, shape the back of the wig down a little bit 
I don't think I'll be doing a lot of cutting with this wig because I don't really want it to be um extremely short. So I'm just going to shape down the back a little bit. And I think that's pretty much all the cutting that I've done. So my camera died and I missed out a little bit of this. So all I've done, guys, is just use my small hair straightener and add a few curls in the wig i'm curling it going backwards and as you can see there it's just sort of all over i just added the curls all over because i didn't want to have like a flat sort of pixie looks i wanted something a bit different and i wanted some curls in it so that's all i'm going to be doing there i mean you can use whatever straightener that you have to do this and it's not in any particular order i'm just adding them randomly because i sort of know what kind of style i have in my head like what how i want it to look I really like that messy look. <laughs> I think that's what I, I was hoping to achieve. So when I finish curling, guys, this is the finishing result of my wig. And I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and was able to learn something from it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and like, comment, subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys as always and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.